Hi, my name is Bruce Wade and this is Bruce on Business. We're talking strategy and we've unpacked a number of models. We've unpacked a number of ideas and concepts that you can use to build your business. But how do you put it all together? How do you put your strategy document in something that's a workable plan? Well, we've got our document and it's filled with some mysteries and some goals and some really ambitious ideas and quite a lot of secrets that we're gonna keep close to our chest. But the framework for a strategy has to start with the vision of your company. Now, if you don't have a vision, maybe you just need to press pause right now and go and develop a vision for your business. Your vision is your number one goal. Your vision is what the future looks like because your business exists. It's the thing that should get you out of bed in the morning. It's the stuff that drives both you and your staff towards your goals. So your strategy has to hang on your vision. Underneath that vision, five focused areas. Now, <clears throat> you know, we don't need to work on everything in your business. You don't need to have a complete or rounded strategy. Five goals, five focus areas of your business. And it could be high level areas. We don't need to be specific at this stage. It could just be marketing as one of them. It could be networking, it could be sales, it could be cash flow, it could be your building, it could be new products. List up to five, no more than five because now you're just going to get confused with too many information on your dashboard. Five focus areas is enough to focus on for the next 12 months. Below each focus area, we then have the goals. So if you look at this model, what goals do you need to write down for each of those five areas that are gonna get you closer to the vision for your business? You see how it kind of fits together. <clears throat> and under each goal, there are actions. These are the specific things that you need to do. And this is the area that you review on an ongoing basis, like weekly, and allocate tasks to both yourself and your team. Allocate tasks with a bit of accountability, with dates and times and required outcomes for those. And as you achieve the actions, you will achieve the goals. And as you achieve the goals, you will then realize the areas that you're focusing on which will take you closer to the vision. But having a number of focus areas, a number of goals and actions is great. But every now and then there's something that is critically important, something that you need to focus on. We call them wigs. No, not the thing you put on your head, but the wigs, wildly important goals. Goals that are more important than anything else due to circumstances, due to opportunity, due to financial availability. What are your wildly important goals? Now for our company we have five focus areas for this month. We have a number of goals and a whole bunch of actions that need to be done that is spread around the entire team. But each month we have our wildly important goal, which means over the four weeks of that month, we focus more on the wildly important goals as opposed to the other goals. Not saying that they're not important, but the other ones are wildly important. It's interesting just kind of understanding how a strategy comes together and what and how that all fits in. I'm going to link you to another video in this blog that comes from the eighth habit. You might have read the seven habits of highly successful whatever, but there's a follow-on book called the eighth habit. And if you haven't read it and you want to get involved in finding your strategy and your voice, 
then I highly recommend it. But this is a little video clip with a, from a CD that comes within the book, and it's called Wildly Important Goals. It's a little humorous, but it kind of emphasizes the point on what wildly important goals are. And watch that as well. But take a moment to draw these blocks up on a whiteboard or a flip chart and start brainstorming around your vision, your focus areas, your goals, your actions, and your wigs. And begin to unpack the vision for your business, the strategy for the next 12 months that'll take your business to and beyond your wildest dreams. My name's Bruce Wade, and this is Bruce on Business, where we look forward to your future.